All right, guys. So me and my dad are gonna make this ranking dirt bike brands because I looked it uh, up on YouTube because I was interested in what other people thought of every brand, but I couldn't find any really. So I got my dad. Me and him are gonna rank them. So at my number one spot, I got Yamaha. What do you got? Or Suzuki. <laughs> Tell him why you got Suzuki. Because he's the best bike there is. <laughs> Alright, so he used to race Suzuki, so he's kind of biased towards them. So it's not really... <laughs> it's not really that fair. So, uh, I have Yamaha because it's a great br uh, brand. The, the 250, I mean the 450 won the 2020 shootout. I saw that video. And they pretty much win every shootout. And uh, I have a... YZ250, my YZ85 I had was a great bike, so I put Yamaha number one. What do you got at number two? Honda. Alright, I have KTM. Why do you have Honda? Because I used to race and there's a good bike. <laughs> you gotta tell more than that, like, suspension. Suspensions are better, they're lighter with aluminum frames, and they all got the metal frames. I don't know if that's true, but uh, that is true. So, <laughs> number two, <laughs> I have KTM because KTM is a great brand, really, when it comes to like little kid bikes, like 85, 65s, and then like their 300 uh, is good, their 50s. And you don't really hear them talked about that much in uh, 450 class because, well. They're not ranked that high in the 450 class. So, I have KTM on the two spot. What do you have at number three? KTM. <laughs> Why do you have KTM at number three? Because they're a good running bike, but it's saying as good as the RMRC or. Tell them your story about uh, your last KTM that you owned. Last KTM I owned was the biggest pack <laughs> of crap I've ever owned in my life. They do just make a good bike. This is not the one I had. Uh, well, I have you had to th shove it more than you could ride. <laughs> and you know that's true. And number three, I have Husqvarna. So, I have Husqvarna because at my races, people on Husqvarna just rip it, bro. I mean, they're you know, hitting jumps, side kicking it. Surprised they're not fucking doing double backflips on that shit. <laughs> like Travis Strada. I mean, like, it's crazy. Um, Husqvarna and KTM are made in the same factory, I think, so yeah. they, they still are. Uh, but uh, <coughs> Husqvarna, I think, is about to overtake KTM and people. I mean, Husqvarna is really not that known. Like, you have to remind people that there are six brands instead of five. Now, because like Husqvarna wasn't around in like the 90s. Nope. So they was, but they're not. Wasn't no. that big. Yeah, they're not known that much. So at number four, what do you got? Number four, I have Wazis, Yamaha. Why do you have? Yeah. They're four. pretty decent bikes. Decent. Uh, you got the newer one with the aluminum frames. They're a little lighter than what the older ones was. So, I think Yamaha hasn't redid their uh, 250s since 2006. 2005, uh, I think. It's 2006. So, yeah, I, I can see why you have them there, but we're number four, so I have Honda. I have Honda because the last Honda I owned was a CRF 150, and that thing was a stack of shit. I mean, it was trash. But the newer bikes, I mean, we were riding with the guy the other day that was riding a CRF 230. I mean, he was ripping it through the mm -hmm. woods. Uh, they're, I think they got number two in the sh 2020 shootout, so it's like, I, don't, I haven't rode one recently, but my friend Brandon, he races Yamaha, but he wants to go to a Honda. I don't know why. So... I think uh, Honda, I don't know, I don't, you don't really think of Honda that much when you think about racing dirt bikes, you know what I mean? Like, you think about 
two strokes and think about KTM just flying through the air and Yamaha or you think about maybe Travis doing his triple backflips and double backflips on a Suzuki you, you don't really I don't know that's just my opinion I have them at number four what do you have at number five Kawasaki oh you have Kawasaki at number five because they're a piece of junk <laughs> Friend Evan would disagree with that, and uh, the Connor Graham that I met at the race would disagree with that. So, what, you have to explain it more than their piece of My opinion junk. is they're, they're a heavy bike. They don't run that good, and they don't. They just don't last. <laughs> I never five and a half Suzuki. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I have Suzuki because. I, my RM85 that I had, that was the only Suzuki I've ever had, was a great bike. I mean, there's really, that's all I could say. It was a great bike. Um, I, I liked it. I mean, it was, uh, it was ripping when I was nine. It was a RM85. I was, first thing I ever did jumps and willies on, so it's like. Then when I was 10, we sold it. So, uh, yeah. And at number six, what do you have? Husqvarna. Why? I don't know like, nothing about them. I've never rode one. <laughs> uh, I've only rode one. That was at my friend's house. So I I've really seen them, that. but I've never rode one to so know how they run. So it's really not ranked number six, but you've never, you don't got an opinion on it. Number six. The worst bikes I've ever rode was a K, uh, KX65 and a KLX110 and a KLX140. Trash. I have number, I have Kawasaki at number six. I mean, there's not really that much I could say about it. I mean, I know now, like the stock bikes, you would have to do some upgrades on them just to even compete with people on 2020 Yamahas and Hondas. And Suzuki. Suzuki is, I think, the worst brand now. But, so I have to go with my opinion. So I have Suzuki. So what else do you have to talk about? Racing? I raced my RM for years. Never had a problem with it. I've only been racing. I've only raced the Yamaha, so I can't really say nothing. I raced my Yamaha, or my RM for... Four years. All right. What about four wheeler brands? You want to do? Me and him are gonna come out with the four wheeler brand. And I don't know. What do you say? The well, next video. It's gonna be soon. So probably in like 15 minutes. So. As I drop my phone, but it still lands like that. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs>